The president of Maldives, who made a splash by holding the first underwater cabinet meeting of the world to draw attention to the issue of climate change, says India needs to act on carbon emissions even if it, uh, rich industrialized nations don't. Speaking to NDTV, President Ma Mohammad Nasheed said India should lead the way instead of linking action on climate change to guarantees of action from the West and what was it like for his ministers to be underwater. Well, he says it may force politicians to talk less and act more. You say, and I think rightly so, that this is going to be the most important political issue, perhaps debate in the world in the next 10 to 15 years. In India, the way we're seeing this play out is very much uh, through the prism of developed versus developing countries. And uh, the perception here or the consensus so far with the few naysayers seems to be the onus is on the rich countries. The onus is on the developed industrialized part of the world to cut down on carbon emissions first. There's a sense of perceived hypocrisy. Do you share that as, a, as, a, as an emerging country, as a developing economy? You know, Gandhi once said, an eye, an eye for an eye will make the whole world go blind. And, and I don't think um, this is India saying this. Um, we want to see India rise to the occasion and save the world. Uh, and I have no one else to turn to. You can't be pointing fingers at people. We are all in it together. Uh, even if they don't, you know, um, um, I mean, e even if the West or someone is so arrogant and naive and self-centered and, uh, you know. But are they all these things? Is the West arrogant, naive, self-centered on the issue of climate change and hypocritical? I, if I, I, can I started that? by saying that we shouldn't point fingers, didn't I? <laughs> I'm being a journalist. I, 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 I'm, but I'm, yeah. um, uh, but the, uh, what I'm trying to stress is um, even if uh, uh, whoever who is in front of you um, doesn't quite understand your point of thinking or your line of thinking. That doesn't mean that you have to become that person. Yes, uh, what I'm suggesting is that um, India take it up and then um, go along and then see how India can bring different nations together and how India can be more of a facilitator in this.